Faber and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be changing a mold board on a little case dozer. Um, many of you will follow me on Instagram, yeah? And uh, as you see, I've got a big following on Instagram, so uh, everybody keeps asking for a YouTube channel, so here's my YouTube channel. Um, it's Sunday morning, we've got a dozer in here, it's got to be out by 6 am tomorrow morning. So let's take a look at what we've got to do today. We've got a little case dozer. The ball ball's worn through the bolt holes, as you can see. So, plan number one. I'm gonna take the pins out, take the blade off. That's if them pins will come out, because a couple of them are not taking grease, especially with this center pin. Um, if that center pin don't come out, then it's gonna be a bit of a headache. Yeah. So I've never done a mold board on a blade before, but I've done many skins on blades. And if you look at the back of the blade here, these blades are made up of C-sections. That's a C-section, and that's a C-section, and that's like a similar C-section that goes to the bottom. So when you put a blade skin on, make sure you plug it back to where the C-section finishes, along the line of that C-section wants to be plugged on that side of the blade. Yeah. So I'll get this dozer in and let's get cracking. Overall's on. GPS balls, uh, get them out of the way, then we'll take the lock bolts out, remove the circlets, and see if these pins will actually move. Um, the only one I'm really worried about is that centre one at the bottom. The last thing I want to do today is uh, start messing them out with pins, and this doors have got to be out at 6 in the morning. I'm going to try I'll take this lock bolt out and then we'll try jacking this centre pin out yeah but I can't crack it with this bar so now and again you need to go to the mobile office so I'll need an half inch dry crack bar Short 30. Let's try and crack it with this.
So we've just tried heating the bosses up uh, and that pin seized in solid so that changes things up a lot for what we're going to do today um, we're going to have to do it in position now so uh, these cussets here so we're, we're losing about 20 mil on the end of that can you see that little bit there that's what we're missing so whether it's worth taking these off or not now and i don't i don't really know i'll get the ball board off though i'll gouge these off and i might let them go again uh, <clears throat> time wise really i mean that pin needs to be uh, pulled out but I haven't got a spare pin, so that can't be done today. Yeah. So yeah, turned out to be a bad job. Yes. Oh, 
Get out. Clean that up there, so we'll get a nice cut with a gas. Easy. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to set the track up for the track cutter and Put it with a track cutter, make it a lot easier. Have you mentioned our cow yet? Say hello. How are we doing? Guy. <laughs> I need to watch my language. If you watch me on Instagram, you'll know that I swear a lot. <laughs> you know, it's still, it might be like top light, you know. Just, just check it with top light off. That's better. Same side light, yeah.
Right, so we managed to get a good cut there with a track cutter. And it's gone right through both welds. And it's not tucked into these gussets. You see how it's not tucked into them at all. So we'll reuse these to keep these on. Come round this side. All I'll do now is uh, cut these by hand. Put each segment out and then clean it up. Ready for the new plate.
to get as close to that bucket as I can. Take as much well as I can off. Now I'm going at it at a different angle. Right, so now we've put all these little segments out. You can see how much we're losing off the gusset, yeah? So, I put the ruler on. That's where our edge is going to be. So we're not losing a great deal, really. So, they'll be all right to go again. If the blade was off on the benches, we would replace these buckets. But for speed now, today, and it's got to be out at six o'clock in the morning, we'll leave them as they are. So we've got a 220mm flat bar here that I pre-drilled on Friday. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen it on my stories. Um, and it's only mild steel. Steal that. Really should be hard off, but anyway, that's what we got. Um, so now I'll set the track cutter up and we'll do a cut down here. Let's just hope that doesn't bore too much because it could bore with the heat. That'll definitely bore, but that might bore a little bit. We'll see.
now that we've put the tracks up and out this flat bar, as expected, the flat bar's left like a banana. Right, so, look down that edge there. Left like a banana, yeah? Which was expected. Now, I'm not happy about using this material for starters. Right, that could be hard up, because it could be tucked on both sides. So now I'm going to put some heat down this side. And try and pull it back straight. to this edge now, it will bend more that way before it comes back this way. Put heat into that edge and let that cool, and it should slowly pull it back. Should.
Thanks so much, Donald. Bottom of the blade there. We're going to try whipping that off with the plasma if we can. And that's the next step. Don't so overdo that, Cal. Try it, yeah. This blade here is folded and goes back there. That's the original blade there. See that bit there? We're getting rid of that weld and that weld. Clean all this up. Hey, Cal. Cal. Yeah. That's what we want. Huh? Get rid of that. Yeah. 
It just has to be absolutely spotless before we put anything back. It ain't about fame. It ain't about fake friends. And screw your ex to such a flake. Forget your grades you need a break. You, it's all about you. No matter what the others say. But now I'm done talking the lights on me. I tell you I care. Original fold here, you can see Come around this side. All the gussets are ready to go. Took a little bit too much out of them, really, when we gouged them out. Gouged the top off. Hope they're all right, filling up the weld. We're now ready for the new flat bar. Yeah. that centre up. Yeah. There's still a little bit of a bow in it from that cut. We get a tack on each side though. You know what I mean? And then we'll just pull it up each centre, yeah. Get well the setup. Tack om det Tack a piece of flat bar to the blade. Tack another piece of flat bar on here. 
we've got a wedge behind here and we'll just pull it up a bit just to take that little bit of a bow out from the heat uh, we'll put a string line on the uh, on the hole to make sure we're bang on straight See as I tap this now, close that gap up. I want that gap about three mil. So the reason why I tacked it on the back side there is because it needs to go down a little bit. If you look underneath, you see a little gap there. So we need to pull the edge down now that we've got it up.
Packing up purposes, use the speed glass double XR. Yeah. And when we start the welding, use the quantum universal. Weld the fiber style. So I'm gonna use the Lorch MIG. This is a synergic MIG set. Put around here. A synergic, so that's in millimeters. That'll be running around 250 amps. Yeah, 253 amps, yeah wire speed so run about 7 250 
Right, so now I'll turn the juice down. We'll go behind, we'll drop down to about, I said 200 amps. So, about 225 amps. 30 amps. We're the kneeling board. Heated to the material before you cut, yeah? The hotter it is, the easier it is to cut. Bolton.
back in them uh, things that we took out this morning and uh, on to the low water. episode number one of well the father done um if you like it please uh like and subscribe that'll help the algorithm and um and yeah we'll do a few more for you but uh if, i do daily stories like this every day on instagram if you want to follow me on instagram at well the father but um this is uh, just took us eight hours today um i wouldn't normally use that material it should be hard ox but that was the material supplied to me so is what it is the job will do right see you soon cheers